Hey everybody, Ann here. Listen. Can you hear that over the fan? Yup, baby chicks. Today's video is going to be all about the beautiful baby chicks that I brought home from neighbor family that hatched them all out for me. They're beautiful. And they've all gone into the little hutch with the heat mat in there to take a little nap. Now they're all up and at them again, and somebody in a minute here is going to get the zoomies. sweet babies. The ten made it through the night and they're just as sweet as can be. They're already growing. Some of them are starting to develop some wing tips overnight already. I can't believe it. They were so good last night. They all just went into their little hutch that's got the heat mat underneath of it. This right here is my baby chick feeding slash fermentation center. That's baby chick feed. It's a day and a half old. Um, that is fermenting scratch grains or cracked corn, one or the other, um, that I started yesterday. Um, I had a full one that had been fermenting for three days in this one, but I took it out and feed it to the outside chickens today, and then I started a new batch, and this is just the... Yeah, those aren't crumbles, those are pellets. Yeah, it's baby chick feed, starter grower, very high in protein, but... Um, it's definitely not crumble, so I won't be getting that again. So, uh, after this ferments for another day, I'll start feeding it to the chickens. And I just kind of mix stuff up in there. Plenty of paper towels. Well, actually, that's my last roll. I need more paper towels, that's for sure. So, let's take a look at the cute baby chicks up close. This is a brewer box. It's only this big, not very high. I got, um, you know, this stuff over the top of it. This... Their little hutch that I made, a little bit different than the other times. Um, I made it out of a box off of something I got out of Amazon. Um, I think it was some sunflower seeds. But I've just kind of like made an angled little thing and opened a nice wide thing out in the front. And thankfully it fits from one side to the other because the boxes that I've had before, there's been a little space here and there and the chickens could get um, kind of stuck in it. So underneath here, <laughs> that's where they sleep. Uh, that thing that's got a paper towel on it, I'm gonna have to change that today. Um, underneath of it, you can see the little cord off to the side there. See that little cord? That's the little heat mat, and it works absolutely amazing. Um, this box stays really nice and warm. 
So I don't want to squish any little baby chicks. Come on, little baby. <laughs> there we go. Um, just get, keep it down like that. If they need to get warm, they go on in there and get warm. And like I said before, this little light here that I've got way down low, it gets really warm. Um, not hot, but warm, very warm. So <laughs> just look at them. I don't want to take them out of this box right now because it's only like about 80 degrees inside the cabin and I don't want them to get a chill. So, but you can see they've all, <laughs> they all look a little different. Hang on, let me, let me just see if I can kind of lift this up and uh, hold a few of them. <laughs> I want to see the one that I think might be from Patsy. Look at how small they are. They are just very, very tiny little babies. This one, I think, is a barred rock, the black one. Only black one I got. This is a leghorn. Little spots on it. I'm sure of that. Look at you. This might be the one that came from Patsy. It's got her coloring. I'm not sure. <laughs> what are you doing over there? That one might be... From a leghorn egg, I'm not sure. That also might be a Patsy, because remember Patsy kind of looked like that when she was first born? So I don't know. What are you pecking me? This one is just, oh, this is, this is a gorgeous one, but there's another one over in the corner. I'll show you in a minute. Hi, sweet pea. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> They're just so cute. This one. Let me see if I can get it. It's okay. You don't have to be afraid. Whoops. Look how gorgeous this one is. Look at those stripes. I think that may have been one of the first ones born. But I'm trying to get them really used to me being around them. That's it. That's it, sweet baby. Oh, they're just so cute. Some of them have like little chipmunk coloring. <laughs> they love to stand in their bowl. Well, so these are my 10 baby chicks. And Mama Neighbor, she did such a good job hatching these out. Oh my gosh. She knew what to do. I, if it would have been me, I would have been opening up that thing. And, you know, I would have been taking chicks out here and there. And she explains, you know, if you open it up, if some of them are pipping, you know, getting out of the shell. Because... They'll break a hole in the shell and stay that way for a little bit until they're ready to come out of the shell completely. But if the humidity drops too quickly, that'll it. It'll kill them. Um, it'll kind of like shrink wrap them, wrap them um, in the shell. So here, let me get you guys some food so you can eat out of my hands. Here we go. That's fermented chick feed right there. And they love it, love it, love it. But uh, she did a great job. Um, there were a lot of eggs that I think may have been past their prime as far as hatching. Um, and then, like I said, there was one that I brought home that didn't look like it was going to make it. Um, and it, it, it didn't, so that's all right, though. I feel bad. But I've got ten beautiful chickens, which is just the right number. Um, the most I've ever raised at once, I think, was eight. Um, really, only six if I got them from Tractor Supply Company. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is so cool, you guys. Thank you so much, neighbor family and neighbor mom. I think you kind of took the reins on all this. You did just a fantastic job, and you brought me so much joy just by having that incubator hooked up and running it in your home. And I know there's stuff you've got to do every day. You've got to check the humidity. You've got to check the temperature. Um, day 17, you had to take the egg turner out. And you guys just did a great job. And look at all these beautiful babies. Oh, I'm just glad, you know, that, that there weren't like a ton more. I, I would not have had the space to keep more. I would have had to get a, um, a bigger brooder box. I think this will work for a couple of weeks at least. Eventually, I'll be able to take this little hutch out. Um, and 
you know, just put like a little perch in there or something. Leave the heat mat in there. Oh, they love eating out of my hand. I could sit here and do this all day long, you guys. But I got stuff to do. I got to water my plants. So thank you, neighbor family. And then when I'm done messing with them, I just pull this little blankie over the top to kind of retain their heat. It stays nice and warm in here. Bye-bye, chickens. I'll see you later. I got to keep moving. I got to get outside and water the plants because it didn't rain last night like it was supposed to. But that's all right. I've got some water. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.